buddy, this is Praxis, and I wanted to talk about the secondary seal plates that I put up here. They are all on, all the way around. These are uh, roughs on two by sixes, so the dimension is actually two by six inches. Uh, the reason that uh, sometimes people will do a secondary seal plate instead of just nailing uh, directly into the, uh, the uh, first seal plate is the first seal plate has those anchor bolts that go up through it, and the nuts are on there. And, uh, you know, if you're putting posts down, uh, you know, you, sometimes you have to kind of work around those, uh, those bolts coming through. Uh, also, cosmetically, you get bolts kind of coming up out of them. So, uh, that's the two reasons why sometimes people will put uh, these kind of secondary uh, seal plates down. Additionally, what uh, this is going to do, uh, having a second one here, is that the massive amounts of load that's going to come down in the columns, they are going to be able to be uh, even more... Uh, equitably spread out across the wall because you have so much thickness of sill plate really spreading that load out across the entire wall surface. So they're all on here and I've got the uh, uh, locations for the posts marked. There's going to be one here in the corner, one in the alternate corner, and then there's one here, two uh, marks with an X, one here, two marks with an X, and one here, two marks with an X, and I've got the uh, corresponding marks up on the back wall as well. You'll also notice behind you, I've got these uh, three really large uh, boards here. These are going to be the posts. Those are the five by five posts. And, uh, I mentioned in the last video that uh, you know working with this stuff, it's a little hard to cut through with a saw because it's uh, you know it has a lot of moisture in it. Uh, they're also kind of extra heavy. And boy, was I feeling it carrying those uh, the ten foot long five by five posts, still pretty saturated with water. So um, you know they're kind of heavy to work with. I brought three of them over here and then I called it and uh, I've got, I left the, le the rest down there. And uh, you know, the longer they're out in the sun and the wind, the more they're going to dry out. But realistically, they, I, I guess the rule of thumb is it, you dry out uh, an inch per year. Um, I don't really know how you have a rule of thumb because humidity levels, airflow levels, sun levels, uh, you know, there's so many factors that, that work into it. Uh, but that's what they say is an inch a year. Uh, I think if you did it under ideal conditions, you'd probably be a lot, a lot better than that. But uh, the only other thing I want to talk about in this video is I was able to finish up the uh, the drain pipe right here. Uh, this goes down uh, through the hole that uh, I left in the uh, the exterior wall here originally. Uh, it's uh, got to come to some level that's going to be flush with the floor because we're going to be pouring a concrete floor in here. It'll come up to whatever level that is. Once we determine exactly where that level is going to be, I'm going to cut this thing and uh, get that prepped. But for now, I've got a, uh, a little cap on it so things don't get in it. And uh, this to kind of prevent people from at least directly uh, kicking the thing. So, uh, so that's where things are right now. It's really starting to feel like a nice clean space. All this uh, over here is all going to get uh, painted up. And uh, I'm excited to get uh, to start working on the carpentry, other than the fact that the next step is using those really big posts and uh, they're awfully heavy and they're going to be hard to cut, but uh, I still like the carpentry, so I'm looking forward to it. That's it. Thanks for watching.